Hey guys, so I have some delicious flounder here. Um, it was frozen, I defrosted it. And um, I'm kind of not into freshwater fish, so I got flounder, which is usually found in either salt water or brackish water. And I'm gonna do it, I guess you could say Mediterranean style, quote unquote. Um, and I'm gonna put it in foil and it's gonna cook. And even though it's gonna cook for quite some time, like 20 minutes, cause I'm very nervous when I cook um, raw food that should be fully cooked it's not going to it's going since it's going to steam it'll retain its juices so this is a four ounce fillet of flounder <laughs> say that five times fast this is about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and now you're thinking why so much oil well generally when i have this i'll pair it with either rice or pasta just plain rice or pasta and the oil well, one, it'll help it keep it moist in the oven, but two, the oil will help carry the flavor of the other ingredients we're adding. So then I have a teaspoon of lemon juice, freshly squeezed is always best, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of garlic. I'm just gonna sprinkle. Yeah, it's in a jar. Couldn't get it fresh today. And although you're gonna say, why aren't you seasoning the bottom? Normally I break my fish up when I eat it. Um, I don't ever eat it in one piece. If I was serving this for guests, I would have put salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, about half of the ingredients, and obviously an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic on the bottom, then put it on the top, or you can just flip it over, but why get your hands dirty twice? Put this up. I'm gonna fold this up. Am I the best folder in the world? No, but it has to be. This comes out pretty good, no matter what you do. Fold it over gonna take it over to this pan and I know not a conventional pan but I don't need it taking up all a ton of space in the oven so this will go into a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes we'll come back and I'll just show you what it looks like I think it's gonna look great and I'm gonna obviously taste it because I think it's gonna taste great Hey guys, so moment of truth, took out the fish from the oven, and I'm about to taste it. And as you can see, there's juices in the back. When I put this into some Tupperware after it cools down, I will be eating that too. Let me get a little piece. Um, another way you can actually mix the mixture to make it easier is you mix everything in a little bowl, pour half on the bottom, put the fish, pour half on the top. Anyway, here goes nothing. Uh -huh, I dropped it. Anyway, here goes nothing. Mmm, I like that. It's not too seasoned, so you still taste the beautiful pureness of this the flounder that is already in seawater, so it's like swimming around in its own seasoning. But I'm really happy with the way this came out. I, I might eat the rest of this now. I'm probably going to eat the rest of this now. No rice, no anything. Got some, ah, no, the bird's frozen. I'm going to just eat that by itself as soon as this camera's off. Um, so yeah, I really hope you try this. The flounder was actually on sale, so it was a really great price. Um, but you can do this with any white fish. Cod, also really well. Pollock, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, I only like it when it's made into bacalao. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys try this. Really quick, you can actually make this in a sheet pan. You can wrap these individually in foil if you want, or just put a few in drizzle and put it in foil. Put in the oven for about the same amount of time because they're all separate pieces. They're not one large piece of fish. I will be trying this one at one point at a dinner party I'm doing. So you will definitely know how it went over with other people. I'll come back to the video. Leave comments in the description bar. But I hope you enjoyed this. It's delish. I'll see you later.